Hi guys and welcome back to Denise Beauty Corner. Today I wanted to go through what I have in my everyday makeup bag and this is the makeup bag that I'm bringing to the gym every morning and then uh, I use this makeup to get ready before I go to my job. So um, this is like the makeup bag that I'm using and I bought this one from Primark so it was very cheap and it has been lasting me for I think like two years now. So it's a little bit dirty inside and I need to maybe clean it a little bit but I think it's very pretty. Um, so let's go through what I have in my everyday makeup bag. And I know already that there are a few items in here that I'm, that I'm gonna switch out. The eyeshadow palettes I have been having in here for three months now in my everyday makeup bag. So I'm gonna switch it up for another one because I'm a little bit tired of it. And I, a few products in here are actually more or less finished. So I'm uh, gonna change them for some other favorites. In my makeup bag I have this smaller bag where I have all my brushes. I'm not gonna go through them so much because brushes is a little bit boring. But I have one foundation brush, one concealer brush that I blend up my concealer with. I have one brush to set my under eye area, one brush to do my contouring with, one to do my bronzer and blush with, and one to do my highlighter with. I also have a few smaller ones for like blending. I don't, I don't want to go through all of them. So I have one beauty blender and one of these sponges. The beauty blender I like to like go over my foundation and concealer before I set it. And this sponge, when I'm using my setting spray, I like to go over it with this sponge just to take away the powderiness. The eyeshadow palette I have been having here for three months now is the Lorac Pro uh, One. And you can see that this is pretty, pretty beaten down at the moment. I have been using this one so much and I have made, I have hit pan on this shadow and I have almost hit pan on this shadow over here. I'm actually gonna change this one now because um, I love it. I, I'm more or less always travel with this palette, but I feel like I need to change it up. So I am gonna put my Kathleen Lights by Morthy palette, which is another favorite palette of mine. Highlighter. I am using this Taxi highlighter powder, which is kind of new to my collection. But I actually like this one and I bought it for super cheap. I think like one euro. It was in the Primor. They have like this stand where they sell uh, good makeup for like one euro. So this taxi highlighter has, has actually been my favorite since I bought it. And I do really, really like it. So it's in my everyday makeup bag. As concealer, I have the Urban Decay and this is the Naked Concealer. I absolutely love this concealer on an everyday basis. It's not super, super full cover, but it's a very decent cover. Otherwise, my Tarte Shape Tape is my ride or die at the moment. But this is on second place and for an everyday makeup, I do prefer that one. I have my Wonder Brow, of course. Always using this one when I'm doing my brows. I have this uh, Milani bronzer and I do like to bronze up my face with this one. It's also a favorite. I've been using it a lot. So this one I have in my everyday makeup bag. And for uh, contouring I have the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And this is like the travel size of it. So it's very convenient to have in my everyday makeup bag. It doesn't take so much space. As a setting powder I have this Wet n Wild Photo Focus and uh, now I have hit pan on it. I've been speaking about this powder so much on my channel. I absolutely love it. This is in the color Neutral Beige and it's just perfect. I love it. Eyelash curler. You need that in your life. As a primer, I have had the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Um, it's actually almost empty. What I didn't like with this one is that it feels like it's hard. It feels like it's product in there, but it's hard to get it out. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong. Since it's almost completely finished, I'm gonna put in my L'Oreal Lumi primer instead. So I'm gonna swap that out. And the same thing with foundation. I have been having my e.l.f. foundation. I love this foundation. It's so good, but it's completely finished. As you can see, I cannot even pump out anything. I need to actually take it up like this to get the last product out there. Uh, so I need to change it up and I think I'm gonna do put a wild card in there and I'm gonna go with my L'Oreal Infallible 
foundation and this is the infallible glow the pro glow so i'm gonna swap my elf one i need to repurchase this elf one because that one is just amazing and it's costing like six dollars it's it's crazy i love it as a blush if you know me no one is going to be surprised that i have my nars sin i love this blush this blush is just everything it's my favorite and i have it in my everyday makeup bag i have this la mer concealer i'm not using it as a concealer I'm using it to carve out my brows with it, so that is why I'm having it. I also have the Anastasia Dick Brown Pomade. I don't know even why I have it here. I don't use it so much. Sometimes when I have put on Wonder Brow and the next day it just needs a little bit of touch up and then I use the Anastasia one, but uh, it's just in that case. Setting spray and I have the Milani Make It Last. You can see it's almost empty, so I need to swap it out for something new or repurchase. I do like this setting spray. Uh, and I like that the bottle is so small and sleek so I think I'm gonna go and repurchase this one and put a new one because it, this is almost finished. As a mascara I have recently bought this taxi mascara and I also bought that one in the one euro stand on Primor and I do really love this mascara. It, it has been rising up to one of my favorite ones and uh, I don't like to pay so much for mascaras. I don't like to buy the high-end mascaras because honestly I think there are so many drugstore options out there that are so good. I think that you are fine with drugstore options and this one was very good. On a daily basis I like to just put on lip liner and then some lip balm and the lip balm I have in my purse because I cannot live without lip balm. Uh, but I am having this Essence Long Lasting Lip Liner in a very nude color and this is what I like to go for on an everyday basis. So it's like a very like nude neutral shade on me. In this purse I am also fitting in my body lotion, deodorant and my face cream when I'm going to the gym. So yeah, this is what I keep in my everyday makeup bag and I hope you guys liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel and be part of my beauty YouTube family here. And with that being said, I just hope I see you guys in my next video. Bye!